If you live in southern Illinois and you know who Popeye the Sailor Man is, most likely you know that many of his characters were inspired by people who actually lived in Chester, Illinois. Okay, so here's some trivia. Before spinach, there was Bernice, the magical wiffle hen. He was a character created by Seeger for Thimble Theater. Originally, Popeye gained his strength by rubbing the magical hen. In 1932, Popeye was thrown into a spinach field after being beaten up. Bernice was out and spinach was in. Popeye's testimony that he is strong to the finish because I eat my spinach is apparently born from a steak 50 years before he became popular. German chemist Erich von Wolf, in 1870, correctly determined the amount of iron in spinach was 3.5 milligrams per 100 grams serving. But when he recorded his findings, he wrote that it was... 35 milligrams. You notice the decimal point was missing? It was a mistake not corrected until 1937, but when Popeye was created, spinach was still thought to be the superfood, and it became the source of his strength. Because of Popeye's spinach fondness, consumption of spinach increased in America by a third. The signature theme song for Popeye the Sailor Man was written by Fleischer Studio composer Samuel Lerner for the character's animated debut in 1933. The early cartoons, though, opened with a few notes from a different song, The Sailor's Hornpipe. The song was a traditional hornpipe dance melody performed in bare feet on the wet decks of late 18th century ships. And here's what that music sounds like. The inspiration for Popeye the Sailor Man's Frank Rocky Fecal, formerly unmarked grave, was finally marked with a gravestone on September 7, 1996. The marker is inscripted with a 1929 version of Seeger's Popeye character. Dora Pascal is the real-life persona of olive oil. She was tall, lanky, wore her hair tightly rolled up in a bun, and was the owner of a general store in Chester, Illinois. Supposedly, like olive oil, she wore a similar dress and button-up shoes, which were the custom of her time. Popeye was the first time in history a city erected a statue honoring a cartoon character, and it was in Crystal City, Texas, in 1937. At the end of the animated film, Who Framed Roger Rabbit?, there was a scene at the end of the film featuring almost every famous cartoon character in animation history except Popeye. Disney did not forget him. They were just unable to get legal permission to use his likeness. The voices of Popeye, Jack Mercer, and Olive Oil, Margie Haynes, got married in real life. The real-life model for J. Wellington Wimpy, the hamburger connoisseur and Popeye's friend, was J. William Shuker. He owned the opera house where Seeger worked as a youngster. Shuker, like Wimpy, was a rotund man and shared an insatiable appetite for hamburgers. But unlike Wimpy, he was a generous man. Of course. Who could forget these other unforgettable characters? Pluto, Popeye's arts enemy. All brawn and no brains, that's me. In Popeye's last few years of production, 
His name was changed to Brutus. But that's another story. Poop Deck Pappy is Popeye's long-lost 99-year-old senile father, although he frequently denies it. He's almost identical to Popeye in appearance, except with a beard and a higher-pitched voice. Schooner Sewell, Georgia, Washington, Christopher, Columbia, Daniel Boom. We know him as Sweepy. He was left on Popeye's doorstep, and Popeye adopted him. 